NBC 15 News starts now. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick. Thank you for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. Firefighters in Middleton battled an early morning fire at an apartment complex. The call came in at 515, reporting the fire at 2060 Allen Boulevard at the Forest Harbor Apartments. Police say no one was hurt, but people did jump from lower level balconies and windows. The fire is now out, but residents still cannot go back into their homes. The cause of the fire is still unknown, and police don't know where in the building it began. It was a tough debut for head coach Paul Christ last night and a tough sight to watch back here in Badgerland. The 20th seeded Wisconsin Badgers took on the third ranked Alabama Crimson Tide in the season opener at AT&T Stadium in Dallas last night. Things start out poorly for the Badgers in the first quarter as safety and team captain Michael Caputo steps up to stop Alabama's 240 pound running back Derrick Henry. You can see Caputo slowly get off of the ground after after the hit, he then lines up in the Alabama backfield, even looking to the Bama sideline to get the play call. The Wisconsin medical staff quickly comes out to grab the senior. Caputo was held out the rest of the game with a head injury. Still in the first quarter, Henry rushes right up the middle for 37 yards and scores the first touchdown of the season for Alabama. The Badgers answer back in the second quarter. Joel Stavey throws it six yards to Alex Erickson up the middle, and he catches it lying on the turf for a touchdown. The score is deadlocked 7-7 in the second quarter, but it went downhill from there for Bucky. Alabama ran away with a 35-17 victory. That's a look at the stories we're following for you. Be sure to join us at 5 and 10, and be sure to click on Amy Carlson's webcast weather.